telling you. Hi, all of you. Today it's um, September 26, 2024. I'm still gone through job searches and everything. So, anyway, so some trend. Um, it's a trend that I've been noticing lately now on the job search. Well, I got this email from Kaiser Permanente, a place I would like to work in, and then they basically told me that that they 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 won't be able to consider me, that kind of thing. And I was applying for a janitor position, you know. Yeah, I can't even get a job as a as a janitor. <laughs> so, anyways, so yeah, I mean, a trend that I've been noticing here. I've been getting a lot of this lately, like, because I'm going, cause this is like a website, or this is a group on Facebook. And this is what I'm seeing a lot of lately. Like, they're requiring more, like, they require us to have experience, and then the pay is starting to get smaller. I mean, they're, before, they did not used to do that. Well, that was like a couple years ago. They You, you did not see this, you know, like, requiring you to have a an experience on a forklift and things like that. <clears throat> so yeah. Must have experience in all three. Yeah, see, I mean, it's been noticing noticeably a trend now about that, like seeing more of that, like requiring more like requiring experience. Like they're they're more strict. They're more strict these days about the requirements that they have. They're more strict. I noticed that. And then also the pay. They're starting paying a lot of these places that I've been looking in right here in this, um, in this um, group here or, or even on Indeed and that kind of stuff. I, I've been seeing a lot of the wages going down lately. I've been seeing them going down. So it, it seems to me... The way it looks, it's like the, um, um, it's now become a, um, employer's, um, market now. Like, not, not an employee. Remember back in 2021, 2020, when the employees had the power. Remember that? Well, those days are gone now. They're gone now. I mean, as I, as I see it, they're, they're gone. I mean, those days are gone. So... These days, like, the trend is they're requiring more experience or they're, they're more, more strict these days on the requirements. And, and I'm getting a lot of, like, a lot of these ads for jobs. You know, I mean, like, I mean, like, I, I, don't, I don't even know if they're legit anymore these days. Some of them actually uh, want us to call them. And, I, and that's what I would rather be doing. Here's another example, like they offer $18 an hour, and I'm not sure if this is a, yeah, of a cherry picker, which is a type of forklift. They're doing, um, I'm going to be trying, trying some of these, like, starting next week. And But, you know, speaking of which, <clears throat> speaking of which, I applied um at the Coles, but but I haven't really heard. Well, I mean, yeah, I haven't heard anything because they they're now saying um because like the Coles position for seventeen dollars an hour that I applied there and like and they don't require a interview and everything and then but now they say now I saw it in the fine print saying that. They'll, they'll after we submit the application that that um they'll um they'll pick one of they'll pick up pick any of us based on uh, what they want it's something like that I saw something like that like they'll they'll, they'll pay uh, they'll um pick the workers based on what they feel is the right one that's what I heard I heard something so that kind of tells me. Even though I was almost guaranteed a job at Kohl's, you know, temporary, this temporary position at Kohl's, you know, like it was only a temporary job, but I haven't heard anything yet. I mean, I haven't heard anything. And then, but, but in the meantime, it was just last week that 
had one of you um <clears throat> call me like one of you um, um tell me about it. and I went to this job fair in Ontario where where they did a they, where they did a um on the spot interview. You know, I could tell you one thing, one crazy thing about all this is that it, I, I could have sworn that there was probably about like 300 people, at least 300 people minimum. And I, and there was like an all day long thing. I would probably be guessing like probably 500 people showed up. I'm guessing. I, I know that it was in the hundreds of people. So I brought in my my little certification card with my forklift experience and everything. And I, we, we all got interviews on the spot, yes. Because it's this new building that they're opening up and they need to hire workers. I think I heard something about, I don't know if I heard a thousand people that they're hiring or I don't know if that's what I, but I think I saw in the ad that they were hiring 70 positions. But I mean, we had about like 300 people in there, more than that even. And <laughs> so I go in there and I, and I had the interview on the spot. Yeah, I submitted and I gave them my, showed them my um, <clears throat> certification, forklift certification card. I showed them on, I showed them that. And I told them everything that I did on my last job and it's exactly the kind of thing that they're looking for. I mean, yeah, and there is and exactly the kind of thing that I know how to, like the, their, their job description is exactly like what I used to do in my last job when they, when they laid me off, you know. But anyway, I haven't heard anything yet, so. <clears throat> I still wonder though, you know. Yeah, because I did the, uh, on, but I, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. But I'm just I'm I'm gonna wait a little bit. But maybe I'll call him. I don't know. But but I'll just keep I'll just keep um, um I'll just keep on looking at applications and I'll look for the ones where they want me to call them. I'll look at that even though that they're only seventeen dollars an hour or something. You know, like say you know. I mean, like I'm. At, I'm, I'm still not going to get just anything, you know, but, you know, even if I wanted just anything, I can't even get a job as a janitor. <laughs> I can't even, it's, it's not easy, man, it's not, it's not that easy to get a job now. I mean, for some of you keeps telling me that I'm not trying or I don't want to work, you know, well, that's, that, that's not the case, you know, I mean, like, you guys, some, one of, one or two of you is t trying to tell me that I, I'm just lazy and I don't, yeah, well, yeah, I would like you to try to find me a job, like, I would like to, you to try to find a job yourself. I mean, they're, they're not easy to find, you know, like, especially, I, I still suspect my age is, is a situation, age system, I still think so, but I'm still confident, I'm still confident in finding a job. But but then again, like I keep seeing these openings and everything, but I, I, I don't even know if these are legit sometimes, you know, because I've got a million ads, you know, I have a million ads saying this, now hiring, now hiring and stuff. You have a million ads like that, but, but it doesn't seem like they're legit because I, every time I try to apply to some of these things, I don't hear from them. And I just, I don't hear from them. And they even, even months, like months ago, well, except for this Kaiser, um, this Kaiser sh job I told you about that I just showed you right now. Like, they, I actually got a response from them, but they're telling me that they weren't considering me. Because I, I think it's to do, um, it was not because I don't qualify. It's not that, but it's because, um, well, I don't know, because they, cho they chose somebody else. That's why, I mean, so, yeah. <clears throat> so that's the trend that I've been noticing, you know, like, I'm noticing that now, I mean, I'm noticing that, um, that, that they're, they're being more strict on the requirements these days, I'm seeing that more, and, and then I'm seeing, I'm seeing smaller wages these days, $17 an hour, I mean, then, now what about fast food? Would I want to work? I would love to work in a fast food. Hell yeah, I mean, I would love to work in a fast food. 
I mean, I used to work at McDonald's. I mean, I would like to. I would like to work there. I mean, only thing though is that I mean that people that they don't hire. They don't hire older people there. Like especially like places like In and Out. Forget it. I mean, forget it. I I I know I wouldn't stand a chance of getting a job there because I all I see is young people and I I, I would not stand a chance. You know, like we gotta understand that. I mean, the but basing on the way I look or. The, 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 just my little personality that they see. I mean, they're, I mean, they're not gonna, they're not gonna hire. I'm, I have less of a chance of getting hired, like basing on my, on my age or, or other little factors like that. I mean, other little things like that. But I could be wrong. But I, I would just keep trying. I'll keep trying. I mean, I'll, I'll keep putting out those applications. You know. So, it's been four months, and it's now four months officially since I got laid off, so Jenny Lynn's been helping me find a job, like, while well, she's been just been going through these websites, well, like, you know, the, the, the groups, so, I mean, yeah, I, I just have to keep trying, keep putting out applications, you know, I just have to keep doing that, I mean, but, but at this point, I'm just gonna stick with the warehouse jobs for now, because I think it would probably be easier for me to get a job at a warehouse than, than anything else. And you know, even, even a fast food, it would be easier for me to get a job at a warehouse than a fast food at this point. That's my opinion. So, yeah. Because at least I have experience. I have experience and I have my certification and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about that. So, I mean, <clears throat> Jenny Lynn has just been sending me these little invitation well like these um job market things well yeah i mean and, and well, a lot of those seem pretty interesting but a lot of them are, are offering like 17 dollars an hour i mean it's been the the typical wage i've been seeing starting out 17 like driving a forklift and stuff yeah i mean yeah i mean what choice do i got i mean i gotta do that i mean i'll just do that if i have to i mean drive a forklift that yeah i mean i'm noticing the trend you know i think yeah so yeah anyway that that's like the update so that was the update yeah i mean they oh they always have they, there's so many of these ads but i don't even know if they're legit though man i love that feel it because i feel that that's too many like that can't be i mean but then again here's a job fair right here i think a, 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 a lot of these they're they're um agency i think that's another trend too i mean i'm noticing that's another trend i mean noticing that there's i mean <laughs> tiktok is hiring <laughs> how funny but anyway that's another trend that i've been seeing a lot of you know these agencies these a, a lot of agencies are posting ads you know like even in the job fair i get these agencies like at that job fair and i i, I when i when i went to the job fair i tried to call one of those numbers at the agency, and I never heard from them. I haven't heard from them. Yeah, I haven't heard from them. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> these agency, but I think these agencies are doing that because, like, I mean, it's, I think it's to do, it's, I think it's just a tactic for them to try to make money off of us, you know, while when an agency hires us or when one agencies find some uh, a job for the for us and they get paid you know like i think it's all about trying to get paid you know like get paid for looking for a job you know that's the way i look at it i mean so yeah so this is um september 26 2024 september <clears throat> so that's my well, I'm just gonna still keep trying. I mean, well, I haven't heard from the job yet that, that I got an interview for, but the, the guy does tell me, the, the, the fan, the YouTube fan did tell me that, that for him, when he did it, he said that it took somewhere around two weeks before um, that he got a call, before he got a, or before that they contacted him. But I'll see what happens. And it's been a week, so I mean, I'll, I'll I'll keep looking back. I mean, because like because of the interview that I had in person, I actually had a um, on the spot interview. I mean, sometimes they do that. I mean, 
But I still don't get much luck anyway. I mean, well, anyway, okay. Well, I hope you liked this update. And I'll see you on the next video. All right. See y'all.